Awad, and I'm to, uh, the instructor for the cyber security for you. Okay. okay. And uh, I think you're well aware about that. Uh, the cyber security is all about is how it's going to work and how 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 to you know gonna you know what all things are you know what how you are managing it. Okay. And. Uh, so I would first of all I would like to know that uh, uh, your profile is, is all about and what you're going to do it, and uh, why why you choose the cybersecurity and how much you know about all sort of things till now. So uh, please one by one uh, provide me your instructions, uh, provide your introductions in short so that we can go further. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes. So, are you able to see my screen right now? Yes, sir. Okay. Fantastic. So, uh, 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 so I would like to know your names, okay, and uh, uh, what in, what you're doing it, and uh, what's your expectations regarding it, and uh, 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 why the service security is, is the best options for you. Okay. So, myself, Srikant, sir. Srikant. So, I graduate. I have completed my graduation in computer science, sir. Okay. Those so stuff? basically, yeah, basically, at my, my I, uh, while I am doing graduation, I was very interested in the subjects of network security and the security kinds of issues. So after that, I have done a CCNA course. Sir. After that, also, it is not a better choice. I have done, then shifted to uh, cyber security, sir. Okay, perfect, wonderful. Uh, any other word? Hello, uh, this is Suchitra, sir. Uh, actually, I'm a housewife, and uh, since last two years, uh, actually, I did ethical hacking first, and then I did CCNA. So I wanted to learn the advanced things. So that's why I joined this course. Okay. Uh, hi, this is uh, uh, this is Arvind here. So I was working for Accenture for the past two years. I was working as a software developer. I wanted to shift my careers into cyber security and uh, so for that I have uh, finished my CCNA certification but I wanted to move into a core field of cyber security, learn more into it. So that's why I wanted to pursue this course. Okay, fantastic. So uh, any other one? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, myself, Sridhar and uh, actually I have a, uh, I'm a telecom professional. Uh, telecom networking professional. Uh, I have a almost uh, eight years of experience in telecom background. Uh, I want to change into the networking like uh, cyber security and actually I am very interested in uh, security uh, that means network security background. So I am switching into this one for service. Okay. Security. Okay. Sir, Any other one? Sir, myself Indrakant sir. Hello. Okay. Okay. Sir, uh, okay. Uh, I used to work in Indian Army for last uh, 15 years. I have just retired from Indian Army. Uh, okay. And the last eight years I worked in my IT section in my unit. Okay. So I want to uh, start my career, new career in this cyber security. Okay. Okay. Good to know that. Uh, any other one? No, sir. I am the last. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So uh, as you all know that uh, you have some uh, uh, informations, you have some in. Sir, sorry, sir. One more guy, sir. One more guy, sir. One more guy is there, sir. Chandra, he is not available now. Okay, no problem. You you can just provide the recording of the sessions today. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay. You okay. you have told about yourself, is it nice? So. Oh yes. So uh, uh, this, this good interactions with you all of you. Okay, and. Uh, 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 it, it is a cyber security things, you know, what uh, working for the future for the very past, you know, what the cyber crimes are, you know, what is increasing day by day. So, uh, uh, first things you have to choose the right options for your career for the next 10 to 15, 20 years, you're secure, okay. First thing is clear for you, okay. So, uh, what I'm trying to tell you is from my side. So, my name is Mahesh Kumaut, and I'm working for the past 15 years. Uh, okay, uh, in, in, the, in the IT industry, and I have past 10 years experience in the uh, cyber security. So basically, the, the network security, application security, cloud security, uh, uh, and which we have different different in you know, physical level security controls, 
and uh, we have some investigations for us thinking investigations we are going to do it sometime so i have a vast experience on the security right so uh, so uh, you are the right platform and that's why i'm just going interaction to you at the same time right so uh, uh, first of all i would like to tell you that uh, in, in a security background okay uh, uh, first of all uh, your analytical skills is very important for you dear uh, i will tell you honestly because how do you analyze the issues okay sometimes you know what uh, cyber crime is happened okay so how how do you you know what uh, going to understand uh, uh, the analytical approach okay uh, is very important for you so uh, sometimes you going to uh, you know what you know what think like a hacker uh, how, how do you going to hack okay then second the second options would be how do you going to you know what defensive approach okay so attacking approach and a defensive approach is going to work you same time simultaneously in the in the cyber security right so you have to think like a uh, as a hacker uh, what is going to do it so different different you know what technique techniques skills requirement in the cyber security uh, so you you would like to go for step by step one by one each and everything right it, it is a very vast field right so uh, if you you would like to be a, you know what uh, learning uh, in the step wise you know what first thing you have to learn then second step would be coming the third step would be coming the fourth step is becoming okay so uh, this is the things is going on in the cyber security sort of things first thing and uh, the, the, you know what the basic fundamentals right you need to be understand like uh, and the networking okay networking what is networking how do you manage a networking what are, what is the topologies in the networking networking what are the encryption technologies going to use it okay uh, uh, so this is the, the osi layer approach some of uh, and the vlans approach okay so there the other, you know some technical things is a requirement is almost all time right so uh, uh, that is why if you going to start your career so as uh, i ethical hacking is the first thing and ccna security ccna this is basic things you need to be working over there some of the system administration part is coming okay so the operating systems information you need to be required okay and then if you have good understanding about all sort of things then then you cannot be a good 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 cyber security expert or person right so most of the times so you know what in the cyber security what happened you need to be uh, uh, analyze the data right so uh, you require some analytical approach okay a uh, true false positive sort of things okay you have number of data is there so which is important why it is important what sort of evidence you required in the, in the data so those sort of things you know to be uh, take care of all sort of things right so uh, i think you you have a basic understanding about the networking part uh, and also the operating systems part okay some of the cloud computing is is you know what in the market right now so aws azure cloud the google cloud is there right so the security features inside the cloud computing you need to be understand and uh, and if you're talking about some uh, web applications right so at the how the api is going to working what is ssl what is tls okay what is oauth 2.0 it's going to working okay so if you understand all sort of things then it really is you know what easy to you know what the cryptography or sort of uh, the cyber security terms and then uh, then and the legal skills you you adopt same time and then you you can say that this this was the incident happened so it was the evidence is there and then what what is my result is there right so three things are working together right now okay so i would like to know that uh, the first thing is uh, who who who's a better understanding about the uh, ccna level like networking who who's no better things do you have basic understanding all sort of things uh, which i'm talking about right now like uh, the the tcp ip three way handshaking uh, the osi layers how the uh, one source to destination communications of uh, of the the devices okay what are the different different type of topology in the networking and uh, the what type of osi layers uh, or we can say that what are the routing uh, uh, protocols available right osp or bgp mpl sort of things and uh, how it's going to working so how do you comfortable on the particular networking side i would like to know that first of all so uh, let me know uh, anybody who's in you know, what what type of things you expected what you going to achieve it all sort of things because uh, right now i can just provide you all the informations yeah this is the this is the interview questions will be coming 
you need to provide some answers. But the, the thing is most important in the cybersecurity, your, your basic understanding and your common sense. How do you uh, sense the things? How do you, you know, what mitigate the risk is all about? So that sort of things you need to be done at any point of time. So uh, tell me that uh, uh, how, how do you comfortable into the different different because the application security, cloud security, network security, uh, uh, and and you know what the physical security and the, those are some you know what areas. So which is the weakest point, one of you, and which is the you know what uh, strength of your of your side of a security? Tell me one by one. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are there. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So uh, let me know that uh, what's your weakest uh, security zone, and what is your, uh, you know, what uh, the strength of your uh, security. So where do I have to work for you? I would like to know that. Yeah, I, I have. As I said, uh, this is Arvind here. So as I said, I'm, I'm familiar with uh, networking concepts. So I know basics about CCNA and CCNA security. So I would be needing to work mainly on ethical hacking, application web security, and uh, yeah, cloud security. Yeah, I think these three would be needed needed to like upscale my uh, security concept. Yeah, other than network security. Hello. Hello. So myself, Sri Khan, sir. Okay. So even I am very comfortable in networking, OSI layers, and everything networking concepts CCNA. So I need to have a good idea of web pen testing and ethical hacking and cyber security and even clouds also, cloud security. Okay. Hello, uh, this is Suchitra. And uh, I'm for me also, the basic concept is clear about the networking and OSI model. But the thing is, uh, I'm very weak in the programming languages, all SQL and basic, whenever we uh, use SQL injection and all, basically I would like to learn the basic things. Okay, that's very good. Is there anybody else? Uh, this is Sridhar, sir. I think I know the basic of the TNS and concepts security background. Uh, uh, actually, I know that uh, concepts, but uh, I want to know more uh, about the. Uh, that means, uh, actually, actually, I know about the tools and all, but uh, how to analyze the output level of the tools? Uh, I want to know that one. That means, actually, okay. we are using uh, tools for particular secu uh, particular uh, security tools, uh, but uh, how to analyze the output and uh, how to. Uh, get the alerts, uh, all the things I want to know from. Okay, okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, yes. Sir, this is the answer. Okay. Sir, uh, I do know the basics of networking uh, and uh, security processes, sir, as I did in uh, Indian Army. Uh, but uh, I don't know that, uh, I know the tools, what to use for what uh, in. Uh, pen testing or anything else but uh, i don't know the deepest part means how to analyze the alerts and uh, how to uh, as, uh, do any assessment regarding any web app or anything else okay fantastic uh, so please uh, mute your mics okay there's some loud is coming so uh, my question to who is over is going to speak then is just use it but un unless just is mute your mic Mike, so that it is easy to understand for everybody, right? Okay, so everybody's done. Okay, so uh, I would like to know that uh, uh, basically uh, you already understand uh, the basic fundamentals of networking. That is really good because it is mandatory for any uh, ethical hacker or cybersecurity or forensic investigations. So uh, to understand the networking part is very, very mandatory to understand. Okay, so uh, uh, the second point would be uh, if you're talking about uh, uh, an incident will be happened, right? Uh, in, in any crimes happened, the cyber crime will be happened. So uh, 
how do we get to know that this is a crime is has been done okay so we uh, if you're just talking about some uh, uh, data centers approach right so in the data centers uh, we have you know what different different mnc's are working and uh, 3t architecture 2t architecture data centers are available right so uh, my question is basically uh, uh, suppose uh, any incident will be happen like a facebook uh, information is going to leaked or any other information is going to be ha uh, leaked or uh, information is leaked or compliance sort of thing so how do you came to know that so uh, any uh, any an uh, answers for your side no sir okay so uh, uh, dear the, the the first things you need to be understand the sim solution so sim is basically security incident and event management security incident it means that what suppose we have the 200 number of servers we have 500 number of firewalls we have uh, uh, 300 number of vmware is running we have some client system is there we have ids ips intrusion prevention system the ids dlp is working so a number of devices is going to work in any environment right so how do we came to know that this is uh, incident will be happen okay so security incident will be happen in any web servers okay suppose this hacker is going to hack your uh, going to try to hack your web server so first of all he's just going to use some public ip address to coming to inside uh, uh, so how do we came to know that so security incident will be coming in the picture and how do we uh, how do we uh, came to know that there is event and how do we management sort of things okay so the the second uh, the second thing is the event management we are going to do it okay so we have different different uh, sim solutions in the market like splunk uh, qradar arcsite is is a, is a, the other, uh, these are the some examples of sim solutions so sim solutions we can see that the, the solutions uh, which is going to you know providing the incidents happen and event is occurred and then uh, the, the 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 security guys need to be at uh, you know what checking out what what was the incident happened what was the ip address what is the source ip address what is the destination ip address what is the services uh, going to check it out and uh, the, the analytical things need to be working over there at the same time right so this is the approach first of all okay and then uh, uh, the you know what uh, in in the same time we need to understand which the source ip destination ip the service is going to use it what are the port was open and how the um, hacker is going to be hacked uh, uh, send the uh, phishing emails or we can say malware sort of things so number of things we needed to identify at the same time because but we need to understand first of all how the inc inc incident will be coming happen and what were the the consequences of the same time so that this is the things happen in, in general life and in the modern it infrastructure of any data centers right so uh, the, if you have checked in the you know what screen we have some uh, what is kept cryptography is all about so we have some uh, uh, you know what in answer is uh, cryptography is the practice and study of techniques for sharing securing informations and communications mainly to protect the data from third parties that the data is not intended for okay so could you please tell me uh, anybody that uh, uh, where is the cryptography going to work in, in in any it infrastructure in any suppose you are working in the data centers of sock solutions okay uh, security prison centers so where is the cryptography going to work for you what is hashing is all about what is cryptography is going to use it okay so how do you going to you know what uh, secure informations right so how the cryptography can help you out anybody answers for this i think it might uh, work in the uh, thing of manufacturing digital certificates and all digital signatures digital certificates for that we need the concept of cryptography yes you you are right here uh, the digital signatures we we have some uh, hashing is, is, is calculated and if it is going to transfer to somebody else uh, and somebody is going to, going to uh, modify it then the, the hashing value will be changed same time and uh, uh, this is going to you know what the easily can be you know what track that yeah, this there is some modifications happen into those things okay so yeah it's a good example for the same okay so Uh, so the second questions would be the what is the difference between symmetric and asymmetric encryptions? Okay, so uh, could you please tell me uh, uh, what is VPN before we going to the symmetric and asymmetric encryptions all about? How it is going to working? Where we going to implement? What is the requirement is all about? Or uh, uh, both 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 these terms which we're talking about? So anybody guess that what is VPN and what type of so VPN? 
and what is the requirement analysis and anybody is have you going to work on the vpn side till now or not no sir okay so vpn is basically a virtual private cloud and uh, there are two types is basically is, is a side to side vpn and remote side vpn okay so most of the companies are you know what if they have a different different branches available uh, so uh, we, we are using it side to side vpn configurations okay uh, and in the in the vpns we have you know what phase 1 phase 2 is there we have you are using some algorithms and we have some pre shared keys involved there or we have some LAN to wan zone sort of things so we need to configure uh, all those are those things on the in the firewall end so uh, is anybody works on any firewalls till now or not or i need to provide some information regarding the firewalls no we haven't uh, worked on any firewall uh, so uh, the matter of fact that the firewall is basically is a getful level security right so uh, 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 we can say that uh, it's, it's a sort of a gatekeeper sort of things. Like, suppose somebody coming from the outside to inside. So first of all, the firewall is going to be uh, uh, checking all the packets, okay, and filter the packets uh, as per your policies implemented, and then it will going to be inside, okay. So uh, when to land zone is need to be configured on the firewall. So if you are not going to work till now, so we will, uh, uh, you know what, you, I will provide you some practical trainings on the different firewalls. So in next few classes, when should we go further so that you need to understand. So uh, the firewall, how, how it's going to, uh, you know what, uh, uh, get level security is going to work for you, right? Suppose uh, what, uh, what are the different, different ports available in, in the, into the firewall, okay? And what are different different zones available? Land zone, van zone, DMZ zone. Okay, and we we can create some VPN zones. Different different uh, things is there. Okay, and how what is content filtering? What is any you know, what is web filtering is all about? How to VPN gonna working? How do you configurations the firewall? How do you maintaining the firewall? How do you uh, upgrade the firmware in the, fi in, the in the firewall? And how do how do you uh, migration in, in the firewall? And how do you, you know, what the registration of the firewalls? How do you alert and messaging of the firewalls? So uh, how do you create the rules on the firewall? So there are a number of multiple things you need to be understand because if you're going for the, the interview for any anywhere, right, uh, in the, for the cybersecurity or SOC consultant, you need to be working experience exposure on the firewall. It is mandatory for every uh, uh, security operation center, right? So. Uh, uh, we will uh, study all the sort of firewall, uh, all things which I'm talking about right now in the next few classes once we're going for and um, going further. So uh, uh, we're just talking about this particular symmetric and asymmetric interruption sort of thing. So uh, in, uh, the symmetric interruption uh, um, uh, is an interruption key. It's sort of interruption uh, uh, techniques, we can say that. Same key for the interruption and decryption. Symmetry key is going to use it. And uh, the symmetric is different uh, keys for interruption and decryption. So these, this is the difference because, uh, right now, okay? So uh, if suppose if you are in a side-to-side -side VPN configurations in the, in the in the firewall, right? Uh, suppose you have a one branch in US locations and one branch in your India locations. So you're using uh, the side-to-side -side VPN. So you're just gonna use it as a, uh, the symmetric, uh, you know what, encryption. The same key is gonna used uh, uh, encryption and decryption same time. On uh, uh, the asymmetric encryptions, uh, different keys for encryption and, and, and decryption, like a digital signatures. Okay, so uh, we the public and private key sort of things are gonna working, and the performance wise, is to, we can say encryption is a fast but more renewable. Okay, so uh, because uh, you know what the data trans data the tunnels are created in the firewall, so once you're sending your packet to source and destination, so it will uh, you know what taking uh, you know what fast faster than we can say asymmetric because the same key is going to use it. So uh, you know what uh, in the firewalls, what the, the, the destination IP and source IP address and uh, uh, the pre-shared key is, is checked and the, you know what uh, the uh, sessions is going to check same time. Okay. Uh, in the firewall end. So if you just, I will let you know uh, once we just checking the logs of the firewall end so then we can understand that what things happen. Okay, so uh, in symmetric encryptions, this encryption is slow due to the high comp computation because uh, it's a very high, in, uh, in, you know what, uh, encryption things is going to working into this. And algorithms is 3-3-NAES uh, and RC4, 
and Tefi Helmet and RSA. These are the some in what algorithms going to use it and used for uh, bulk data transmissions and often used for sec security enhancing secure secret key sort of thing. So these are the some you know what difference between the two things symmetric and is symmetric in, uh, interruption where we're going to use it. What is the difference between two things and performance and what is the purpose? Why are we going to use this particular things? Uh, then uh, encryption uh, symmetric and asymmetric uh, in what things encryption methodology okay so uh, the another questions is kept in mind is uh, if you are if you are working in any SOC uh, uh, security operations center or cyber security expert okay and if I suppose you're going to appear for any interview so somebody will ask you that oh, yes we are using the firewalls yes we can understand so what is what do you understand about the IDS and IPS is all about so uh, have you ever understand what is IDS and IPS or or not till now? Have you ever configured? Anyone? No, we have not configured. We have just learned the theory part of what okay. is IDS and IPS. Okay, no problem. I will let you know the practical sort of things. In, 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 but we need to understand uh, the, the theoretical concept is all about. So, uh, any, anybody let me know that what is, why it is, uh, yeah, we can understand that this is the IDS IPS. So, what is the benefit? What is the features? Why it is required in any networking implementations, IDS IPS? Let me know. We can know that if any hackers or intruders have entered our network. Our, um, our website okay any other so what is the benefit of this particular things so if there's any uh, errors or malicious uh, use malicious codes or use uh, users entering malicious information into a system or data it uh, triggers an event alarm or alarm or monitoring saying that there's a unwanted information entering into the network so it gives a kind of a warning ideas and IPS tries to prevent it by using the similar signatures or uh, any other previously happened events. Okay, uh, and I will give you some scenarios like that, right? Uh, I suppose you just gonna uh, use a firewall, uh, so forth, or we can say cyber room or sonic wall sort of things, right? And uh, that the, you know what, uh, the signatures is not not available, okay? And you have enabled the IPS and ID at the same time into the firewall. Does it going to work or not? Anybody answer for this? Can you can you repeat the question? Like, yeah, the question is basically is uh, your your signatures not updated till now uh, into the firewall, right? Uh, and you have enabled the IDS IPS into the firewall. So uh, does it gonna work as per you expect expected or not? Yeah, yeah. Actually, it what it it it, it kinds it works, but it takes a lot of time because uh, it searches the internet for the latest specified threats or the threats which are about to happen, and it uses a signature based upon it, and then. Uh, triggers or triggers an alarm regarding to the latest internet updates regarding the threats okay okay so uh, dear what happened into the ideas and ips i will let you know that's a uh, uh, intrusion detection system is basically you know what the different different malware phishing emails and uh, the ddos attacks will be happening into your in your van to land zone right because it is coming from the outside to inside, right? So uh, IDS we need to be configured on the firewall and, and it's sort of service or we can say features in the firewall, right? So uh, in the in the modern firewalls, we can say that because if you uh, go for some legacy firewalls, I don't know that things are available, but if you're just going for the, the checkpoint, the Palo Alto and the Sonic Wall or Cyber, these things are, this, uh, you know, what features is available. So it is a license feature into the firewall and we need to enable this feature and then it's gonna uh, what type of different different uh, you know what as per your your firewall is, is updated signatures right uh, uh, it will detect uh, the intrusion okay uh, coming from outside to inside right it is checking it all things okay but it is not cannot be uh, you know what uh, prevent okay but for the prevent uh, of the, all those intrusions coming from outside to inside, we need to enable the IP same time, right? 
So uh, if you're just going to check it uh, into the IDS and IPS, we have got number of signatures over there and a different different version ID is also available same times. So that is why the all the firewalls are coming uh, all the time signatures should be you know what updated for the till till the time because uh, is any is going to zero day security is coming right so any you know what bugs is is on the firmware and or in the, uh, anywhere so that you 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 cannot be fully protected full secure at the same time right so that is why uh, in the in the in the Palo Alto and the checkpoint sort of you know what is it's next generation firewalls coming into the picture so we need to update it uh, till the time uh, signatures and they just date is saying uh, showing theirs and is, is available all sort of informations there so need to be uh, procured from the you know what outside to inside uh, uh, you know what any phishing or malware or DDoS attacks from outside to inside so this is the first level security we can be configured okay suppose uh, i will give you some more another example suppose uh, any uh, uh, any thread okay vulnerabilities you find out into your uh, local in infrastructure me, right uh, yes sorry to disturb uh, i would like to know if you have any diagram or any video so it will you know, better understanding for us also yeah about the firewall and uh, uh currently i i have not planned this sort of things because okay. i aware that you you have basic understanding but yes yeah. uh, definitely definitely if you don't have sort of inf uh, this sort of information you don't have then i will definitely okay. provide you some practical scenarios also diagrams yeah. and presentations yes. i will exactly, provide exactly sir you. we need the practical uh, some example no where you can better understand okay okay no problem no problem uh, i will just going to provide you in the next class once we're going further, mm -hmm. then I will provide you the gateway level securities, how it looks like, how can we configure, which things we need to be care about, okay? Uh, suppose, uh, so I, uh, I I would like to know that this is some different different diagrams, the modular approach of the networking diagram sort of things, okay? So we will let you know, okay, we will in the next few classes, okay, so today is the first class, so I have basic uh, understanding about all the, the, all the features of security, right? But if you, you if so you much. are if you are lacking of any security uh, in the like firewalls, IDS, IPS, DLP, encryption, VPN, so uh, uh, let it be you know what uh, mention over this particular uh, Skype so that I will just go through it no problem once again, perfect. Yes. So uh, yes. so. The, Okay, so, so, so the uh, the second scenario, my dear friends, is basically uh, uh, the. Uh, Yes, you have enabled the IDS IPS features on the firewall end. Okay, first things you have get uh, gateway level security. You have done it, but some of the some of the you know what signatures if not matched and some of the patterns there. So uh, some of the malware or the phishing emails coming to your inside of your lens zone, right? So what is the precautionary actions you're gonna do it? Anybody answers? Because uh, I will just ask you these questions because of you are the cybersecurity expert, my dear friends, and uh, the cybersecurity expert, uh, expert person required all the informations which I'm talking about. If these things happen, what is the next step? If this thing happen, what happens? So you have plan A, plan B, plan C, plan C. Number of plans you can just do execute if you have understanding, if you have the knowledge of the security. Okay. okay? Can you please Suppose, repeat the question, sir? The, the question is basically suppose uh, any phishing emails or malware or DDoS attack happened and mm -hmm. your firewalls is do not gonna stop okay so uh, what is the second what the, this is the you know what uh, gateway level security it's not gonna stop this particular thing IDS IP is not gonna stop this so what is the second level security you're gonna provide in your land zone Because it's a when uh, sort of things, right? It's coming from outside yeah. to inside. Yes. And what about the <clears throat> what about the land zone security? Is it going to implement? Mm -hmm. These are some tricky questions will be asked for yeah. your interview in the cyber security all the time, dear. Because these yes. are some different different scenarios coming into the picture, and uh, you just you know what asking yes, what happened? Yeah, it's going to be done. So if you're well experienced, well exposure, good understanding about security. You have worked in, on this particular platform, so that's really easy to answer. Yeah, if we can do these things, we can do these things, we can do these things. Uh, so, anybody answers? No answer, sir. I don't System firewall, sir. System firewall. Let me explain, please. 
what if you say please explain me uh, enabling the system firewalls like a windows firewall or anything else if your firewall is not going to stop this particular malware so do you think that the and the the system firewall can be stop this one maybe not sir <laughs> yes <laughs> yes so dear uh, that is why you just write it down the endpoint security dear do you know that endpoint security is all about oh yes oh yes, yes, yes. endpoint security yeah. somewhat like like earlier not too yeah. much yes dear no, the sir. endpoint security is comes to the pictures you have heard about mccafe uh, endpoint security cementec endpoint security uh, advanced threat protection uh, security from cisco okay centralized uh, antivirus sort of things do you know that yeah yes, yeah yes. yes yes so dear you need to protect from the you know what cementec sort of things or mccafe or uh, advanced threat protection uh, endpoint security need to be implemented same time right so that if these things are coming uh, outside to inside then your 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 uh, you know what endpoint protection security is going to check it out yes this has happened this has not happened this has happened okay that is why we have different different you know what endpoint protection is is available uh, mobile device management sort of things and we have email mail uh, you know what mailing sort of uh, security is there different devices available for the same mm. and uh, the systems have you know what you know what regularly we are using it uh, we can say that the same and tech sort of endpoint protection sort of things okay so this is things you need to be uh, uh, take care of take care of it and then i will let you know uh, some practical exposure on uh, advanced protection as well okay atp and also some uh, you know endpoint security is an important aspect so please uh, uh, keep learn this endpoint security is all about get level security endpoint security okay what about the next security you just talking about if if, if this uh, you know what uh, is not not going to you know what checked uh, as amos then what happened next things you need to say there is no endpoint security is available then yes then Yes, I will provide you some hints like that. Uh, have you ever configured the L2 security uh, switch level security? Uh, like oh. VLAN, secu- VLAN, you need to create it. You require some mm-hmm. access list sort of things. You know, configure it on mm-hmm. the same sort of things, mm-hmm. right? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yes, yes. yeah yes. Use so use your mind. Basically, switch. Thing. Yeah, so basically, switch level uh, level two security. i mean is uh, modern cisco switches are all all inbuilt with the this kind of security right yes dear so l2 security port security you have configured so a violation sort of things and mm-hmm. this sort of traffic is going to is there any different uh, mac address is coming so it is going to be you know what stop all sort of things so uh, this is mm-hmm. all about here because uh, the, the level of security right because right mm-hmm. now in the in the in the current environment right we have some okay. firewalls available which is scanning all the packets from the layer 7 to layer 1 mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. Uh, okay. like polo polo l2 device is available we have some checkpoint device available which is going to be you know what uh, uh, working layer 7 security okay application level uh, you know what uh, security to your physical level security everything is there but uh, if we have some legacy firewalls like uh, uh, and the cyber roam so forth sort of thing so this this is uh, you know what layer 4 uh, security uh, this transport transportation level security they will gonna gonna use it okay so uh, my uh, my question is to all of you uh, is is basically have you ever heard about uh, the next generation firewalls what is a next generation firewalls is, is means so the next about? generation firewall already included with the ids and ips Yes. This is yes. Yes. So what what does it mean? Is somebody will ask you that uh, we we going to procure some next generation firewalls in our company? So what's your answer? What which is the firewall name, and why it is called a next generation firewall? Ah, uh, next generation firewalls actually you have this Palo Alto firewall check check Palo Alto mainly in the current industry. you are using palo alto firewall because it has inbuilt ids ips as sukitra said 
and uh, also you have later security features updated inside the firewall itself which can be uh, used to mitigate the threats uh, also with regards to the uh, signature patterns the anti inbuilt antivirus protection also enabled it provides an all round security package as a package to mitigate the latest upcoming threats is there any answers anybody else uh, i require some technicalities dear i am the deep technical things because uh, uh, i am the cyber security expert right so i am expecting uh, uh, the detecting technical things yes i understand this has some good security features inside this uh, power tool anybody else is just going to provide me some technical aspect yes so that i can understand yeah this is the right approach you are talking about So everybody knows that suppose you're just talking about uh, the uh, it's a security features or everything this is uh, the things which which is uh, tell by the ceo of the company right he is not a it person but he know that he, everything yeah is the best security features the good signatures every every uh, is available but he doesn't go for in the depth of the firewall right so um, that is why i will request you to please uh, go for the depth each and everything in the cyber security because Uh, you know, you know what? Once you're going for, you know what, uh, the analytical approach. Okay, you have some logs available from the Sim Solution, Sim Solutions, right? Suppose Plunk, I'm gonna provide you number of one thousand to twenty thousand sort of logs, and in the after after twenty thousand logs, you need to find out what are the security logs is there, and what was the root cause happened, why it is happened issues. So you need to trace each and everything, and it will take you lots of time to waste the same time. but the matter of fact that you need to understand what different different sort of tools techniques skills to you know what uh, to understand where need to be modified where it is things happen what is the ip address coming from okay what, what if these things happen then what what is the second approach i need to adopt same time right so uh, this that uh, the which we are talking about earlier that the next generation file was we have some into the follower to the content id okay the application id the user id and uh, uh, the fourth thing is basically we have separate management console into the palo alto right because in the in the, in the legacy firewalls right so it was talking about we have entire is a separate uh, you know what same things of the management portal same the con the control part and the data part okay controlling part on data part are the main same a into the legacy firewalls but in into the uh, palo alto device we have separate management console Do you understand? Does it mean we have separate processor, we have separate RAM, a separate segment of your uh, management interface, and into the uh, and other ports are in the control port sort of things. Does it make sense to you? So that if 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 it is uh, your firewall is going to hack same time, so you you have still able to log into the firewall. That is that is the beauty about this uh, portal to firewall same time. right so uh, i will i will just uh, provide you some more features informations uh, in next few classes so that you can understand the get level security the van level security then we just talking about some uh, advanced set port uh, endpoint security okay then we just talking about some alto security then we talking about some van sort of security then we just talking about some cloud security then we just talking about some application security so this is step by step process we cannot go for each and everything at the same time but we have scenarios available right which security we are talking about at what what purpose okay you cannot uh, you know what indulge the cloud security with your existing security sort of things because the cloud security is is, is automatically different different things as, as all about right in the cloud security we need to check some different different um, features okay of of the cloud portals what are the portal portals available so uh, we will just talk about later on all those sort of things okay so we are on the second uh, the fourth question is basically explain the cia trade so uh, anybody will tell me that uh, the example i don't want any you know what uh, um, uh, that's the definitions but i would like to know the the example which the confidentiality integrity and availability an example you you think that this is uh, says this is confidential this is integrity and this is availability sort of things tell me hello uh 
सर आई थिंक कॉन्फिडेंटी मी डेटा इज प्रोटेक्टेड विथ प्रॉपर एनक्रिप्शन एंड विथ द प्रॉपर पासवर्ड और समथिंग लाइक दैट सो Okay. So, I would like to go for example. Okay, uh, what what is example? You think that this is the right up things we can go for these things. All the username and passwords are encrypted, and uh, yes, so you're right. Anybody cannot access. Yes, password productions. So, an example. Oh, so. uh, have you ever configured till now? Anybody? Anything? uh the confidential state will be you know what uh, very important for any any organizations still now so uh, uh, what what sort of uh, measurable things what are the, the uh, you know what this is the on the confession side of the risk management side so on the, on the it side so what are the uh, the mitigations things you going to provide to the the confidential confidential things the first thing is the, the password is all about right second one Uh, have you uh, have you ever heard about the two FA, three three FA? No, we haven't heard about. Okay, okay, no problem, dear. Uh, two factor authentications, three oh, factor yes. authentications. Okay. So uh, sup- suppose somebody will you know what uh, somebody is some, from the outside or inside will uh, will and we know your password. Okay. so mm-hmm. this is your confidential information can be leaked at any point of time yes i got it okay. sir okay uh, sir one example can i give an example uh, is it when uh, we ask for the password and uh, again one more authentication for the otp and then this is a added uh, this is a, like a two factor authentication like yes. uh, suppose in a banking website we are uh, now login to the internet banking and first it asks for the password and then it asks for the otp so is it uh, is it a example of two factor authentication yes yes you're right yes okay what is three factor authentication anybody else tell me anybody three factor authentication first first authentication with your password right what is yes. the password you're going to you're going to provide second mm-hmm. authentication would be your otp okay what are yes. the mobile numbers you could provide mm-hmm. the otp will coming same time the third one is your security questions here okay yes. okay suppose you you are just going to configuring the windows environment and they will ask you the three questions in the windows 10 what is your pet name what is your first nickname what is your sort of things okay, okay. just providing the correct answer then you can go for other things suppose you just forgot your password okay in, in the cloud environment or anywhere anything so first things you need to remember your password you just tried your two, two three time password yes you logged in second thing you just the password will be coming to your uh, we can say that uh, on your otp you just logged in okay and sometimes the both things not going to work at the same time you what you going to do it you just providing the security questions and answers and then you is Uh, you will just do, going to log into the account okay so uh, the confidential things will be uh, the two factor authentication the three factor authentication it is going to work into the cloud environment same time right why is cloud is very secure just because of we have to implement these things into the cloud environment as your okay as your active directory have you ever worked on or not or work it or not worked on it so we need to enable the two factor authentication so we need to enable th- three factor authentication same time and then it will you know what uh, asking uh, the password if you're going to provide the wrong password then it is going for the otp so microsoft micro authenticator code uh, app is need to be installed on your mobile devices and then you just the code is you know what scanning your code and then it is going to you know provide you some three or five digit code whatever you you know what configurations has been done on the cloud side then And once you provide a code then it would be logged in same time okay so the cloud security is is uh, is, is confidential just because of two factor three factor authentications we implemented okay the another thing is rsa security have you ever come on this uh, have you ever know that this is cisco rsa tokens okay the the, the code is changed all the time and you need to provide the code and then you would be logged into the vpn yeah this it also- changes it changes every every 30 or 60 seconds Uh, yes. Well. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
uh, this is also applied in the Cisco uh, application code. You just find out in the Google. This is Cisco also providing lo login to uh, their their applications with a security code sort of things. So Google Authenticator code is there, Cisco code is there, and Microsoft Authenticator code is there. So this is the example of two-factor authentication or three-factor authentication, whatever you configure it on their side. So it is very confidential things is there. Do you understand the concept? Okay, so that we just yes. go for some uh, the second options integrity. What does it mean integrity is all about? I would like to you. I know that you have a definitions. You know that yeah uh, is all about. But I would like to know example like this one. Uh, actually, integrity is like uh, ensuring that the data whichever the sender sends it is received uh, the same way as uh, to the receiver. So, for example, if you are sending a mail uh, for, to a receiver with the intended data or the content it, it you should ensure that the same data is being sent over to the receiver at any point of time and it gets the same data if there's any data uh, morphed or modified or uh, changed so then it means that the uh, attacker has eavesdropped on the data and uh, some there's some issue with the content not being content being missing or uh, the exact content not being received yeah any other examples? Yeah, I understand. Yes, I understand the things. I know that the integrity is all about and how it is going to work. Uh, so uh, uh, that part, the the person, the, the email is one of the things. Yes, is the right one. Any other uh, the examples you would like to share us? Any other ideas? Of what are your thoughts about the integrity? Some of the you know what modify the informations. Then what happened? What are the consequences of all this? Uh, have you ever understand the digital certificates? Okay, the certificates need to install into the systems. Okay, then it is be communicating communications with the particular site, right? Suppose some someone is gonna change change the uh, you know what uh, digital signature, so hashing will value will be changed here same time. If the hashing will be changed same time and then it is not gonna recognize same time. That is the integrity is, is answers there. Okay, so the hashing value is more important in the integrities. Okay, hashing value it means that there is there is there is a uh, there is there is a, you know what code is there. Uh, this is it in twenty five or thirty digit sort of things. So if you we will just uh, you know go for any website and check the digital digital certificate of the site, you will find out you know what the hashing value is there. Okay, so the hashing value is is you know what understand by the server and the client same type. The communication is gonna work due to this you know what hashing values remain same. Make sense? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, so uh, we have another term is availability. What do you understand by availability? And any answers for you availability sort of things you provide to me? Uh, there should be backup of the data. I mean, properly kept. More than one server, maybe you know, suppose one server fails, another server is. I don't know if it's right. No, it's it's, it's right. It's tight here. <laughs> yeah. Suppose so if there's any uh, if there's any de denial of service attack or DDoS attack that's happening in the system, so uh, the system is uh, like uh, snatched off of its data, and uh, many services uh, won't be available to the end users in case of a DOS or a DDoS attack. Yes, you, you're, you're right, sir. You're right. You're right. This is a correct answer. So, uh, if you're talking about some data backups, so have you ever worked on any uh, uh, data backups technologies we're just talking about? What type of backup is uh, uh, all, about, all about? Tell me. Uh, these, these are some five types of data backups uh, in, in Windows side, Windows servers, we can say that. But we have different different tools available in the market, right? So, any, any two tools name, uh, what type of data backup is there? Any other, any other your answers for backup sort of thing, solutions? Tell me one thing is, is, is uh, data applications versus data synchronization. What is the difference between two things? 
if your data is not going to sync uh, so to destinations within two uh, uh, hard disk then what you need to do it if it is not going to replication it's not going to work on the two different different branches okay then what was the issue is all about This is the, this is the questions will be asked for I mean any cyber security okay. expert because mm -hmm. we have different different data centers available in the in the in the data centers right so uh, uh, you are you are the part of VMware technology so you 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 know that VMware is all about so how the data backup is going there what are clustering sort of things yes tell me. Any ideas? Yes. Cop copy backup, differential backup. Okay, just just try to read it, my dear friends, because uh, mm -hmm. the, if you are in the uh, database, uh, you know what uh, database security, right? You are the you are the member of it, and how do you secure the data? So you need to understand types of backups, sir. You have you ever configured the differential backup or uh, or regular backup, or what type of backup you are talking about? So he's just talking about some differential backup here. Yeah, this. How how can we recover these things? So uh, if you are the part of the disaster recovery uh, sort of management sort of person, right, into the uh, SOC environment. So in the disaster recovery, what we need, we require uh, in the RPO, recovery point objective, or RTO, recovery time objective. Which time you can, which time to which time you can, you know what, uh, take the data, and how much the point of time you can just uh, take your data is important there, right? So in the disaster recovery management, we need to talking about some availability of data, right? So red five, red ten, red seven, Veeam, and if you're talking about some cloud secure uh, uh, AWS, we have some glaciers available. It, okay, we have some S3 bucket is there. We have EBS volumes are there. What, what do you understand by SSD and um, SSD uh, solid state drive versus your local hard disk? What is the, you know, what, uh, in what uh, we can say that um, the, uh, the speed of the hard, the hard disk, how can we recover the things? So this is the important things you need to understand as a, as a database administrations and what is areas, what is, you know, what, uh, uh, what are the tables, what are the contents? Have you ever worked on the MySQL environment? So we have some tables, content, each and everything is very important. So you can recover the data uh, unless you, you have basic understanding of the database is all about MongoDB, big data, the, the, the cloud environment, we have some different technologies. If you if you uh, if you going to the CEO and uh, in any company and your CEO will ask uh, CEO or CEO would like would like to ask you that uh, which uh, backup sort of program you going to use it do we have to go for some cloud environment we have to go for some local environment or we have to purchase some uh, tools so you have the the right approach the right answers at the same time uh, as per you understand the costing part is very important in the in the terms. And also, uh, you important to how do you if the disaster happened, then how do you recover the data is was more important times. So this is the availability sort of things you need to be understand. Uh, it's very important aspect of this is a CIA thread of uh, the security part, right? So uh, for your homework, you can just do one thing: just try to uh, uh, search on the red five is all about red ten, red seven. And different different types of backups into the wind in the system environment server 2019 and also what are the different different uh, you know what uh, tools okay available different software is available for backup and what about the you know what the on the different different clouds of different different storage uh, things are available right I, i'm talking about some aws so glacier s3 bucket and also abs volumes are there Okay, in the Azure side, we have a uh, bulb storage, we have file storage in the Azure um, platform. So you need to understand each and everything about. Okay, so try to make make sort of notes uh, in the next classes and then let me know that 
so this for security if you're talking about the local and uh, storage we have these things we have if you're talking about some tools so we can implement some beam tool we have implement some red fab red fiber red seven technologies if you're talking about some local storage so we have we can go for some differential differential uh, backup or uh, regular backup or copy backup these things is are the examples of of your you know, what uh, storage sort of things okay so uh, before you're going to you know what recover the data you have to understand the technology is all about because my aim is to create you to as a cyber security consultant so you can if you going to open your own business or you can open your own uh, office of, of okay so you can have better guidance about the security is all about first of all understand the security and how do you then second option how do we control what are the compliances what are the regulatory things required this is the beyond things which we're talking about in next few classes going further understand okay dear so we have another question this has come to my mind how is encryption different from hashing any answers have you ever encrypted the things or not till now and what type of encryption is in the market right now what, how much bit used uh, we use 128 and 256 bit as well for mainly 256 bit is now currently within the encryption technique you have aes aes standard aes 256 aes 128 apart from that in terms of asymmetric we have uh, rsa and uh, dp element key exchange elliptic curve cryptography and all. yes this is the you know what uh, if you're talking about some aes 3 dash aes web these are some algorithms here okay and this is the algorithms we are using it uh, uh, suppose what type of interruptions we required as per encryption we have some uh, different different algorithms we have available so if we're talking about some 128 bit we have talking about some 64 bit we're talking about some 256 bit so if we increase the number of bits of encryptions what is the advantage what is the benefit or, or what is use cases anybody will answer hello yes anybody answer for if this we, if we increase the number of bits so it will hard to decrypt for the attacker i think any data or any okay oh uh, yeah this is the uh, right approach we can Not say that yeah uh -huh. okay yes it's, it's right approach that uh, if we uh, number of encryption bit is in is in you know, what is mm -hmm. higher than uh, in you know, what is is more in, more in what difficult for any hacker to hacking this particular uh, code right this is the this is true things so what is hashing is all about here we understand the encryption to physics we know that uh, it is used in uh, vpn environment okay so we we just going to create some source and destination side to side vpn connectivity and then it is going to work in same for a lot of things so these things we 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 understand but what about the hashing is all about so uh, just you just need to answer no problem both encryption and hashing are used for convert readable data into an unreadable format the difference is that encryption data can be converted back to the original data by the process of decryption but the hashed data cannot be converted back to the original data right uh, because uh, the digital certificates we have some hashing algorithms is there so we, we we are not going to you know what going to crack the same thing um, you know, for the particular digital certificate okay we have to install it on on the system on the server side then it is you know what communication with the with the server to your client and it is is, is going to right communication is going on then just is working okay so hashing is basically is we used to all integrity sort of sort of so no modifications it doesn't require any modifications once once it is co uh, communicating with source to destinations uh, client to server and communications right so uh, the the sixth questions is basically is what is firewall and why it is going to use it okay so uh, anybody anybody will answer us we already discussed too much about this is security level security we have different different you know what policies we can configure we have some different different lan ports configurations but the matter of fact that we are in the same uh, platform we have two options available right we have two options 
if you're going to configure a new firewall, first option is this. And the second option is have you, you are going to migrate your existing firewall to the different higher version of firewall at the same time. So we require same sort of settings, we require same sort of things into the new firewalls, in the migrated firewalls, right? So that if you're talking about some new firewall configurations, what you required, how do you start, how do, it's going to work for you, and what are the, the prequities required you need to understand. And if you're going to migrate the existing firewall to the newer version of the firewall, then what is the prequities you required? Have you ever configured it or not configured it? And if you're going to configure it, and what is the uh, different different uh, the what are the steps? What are the process we need to follow to doing the all the, both activities same time? Anybody will tell me the answers for the same. No. Can you repeat the question like uh, firewalls? Yeah. Yes. We have two uh, scenarios available right now. First scenario is just we need to configure an installation and maintenance of existing the new firewall, right? The new uh, brand new firewalls come to your your office or your branch and need to configure it, install it, and maintain it. Okay. First thing is this. First scenario is this. The second scenario is this, you have existing firewall in your company and you need to be, you know what, uh, the new version of firewall, the higher version of the firewall coming to your office. And how do you migrate the existing things to your new firewalls? And what, what are the steps you need to follow it? You just take the example of any firewall, the follow it to checkpoints, suppose, or uh, uh, 40 gate, whatever firewalls. If you have a configured till now, so then it's very easy to tell me same time. Because if you are if you're the security guys, then we need to understand uh, uh, the, the maintenance part, installation part, configuration part, then you want to secure the things, right? So any, any, any sort of answers do you have, right? First of all, we need to, uh, the first step is basically is to register your device to the site. Okay, suppose you just purchase the Palo Alto device, you just going to purchase some checkpoint firewall, we have purchased some Sonic World devices, suppose so 40 gate, any firewalls, you need to register to the website of Palo Alto website or we can say checkpoint have their own website, but Sonic World have their own website. So my question is, why are you going to register the device? What is use case? Until unless we not going to register the device into the website, it will not gonna provide you license. The features are not able to open it. Make sense? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. So first things you need to register your firewall into the to the website, right? Second thing need to be configure the interfaces. Okay. So interfaces of the WAN interfaces you need to configure it. You can configure the LAN interfaces. Then you can gonna con inter uh, configure some your WAN to LAN zone, LAN to WAN zone. What type of different different policies need to be working at the same time? So these are some basic fundamentals of configuration things. Then you can enable the number of features as per requirements, IDS, IPS content filtering, web filtering. So these these are the devices. Uh, these are the, some features have some uh, different different licenses available and different costing is all about, right? So this is the new things, the existing things. First of all, you need to take a backup of your device. Okay, oh, second thing you need to take a backup of your existing settings of your device, okay? The third thing, uh, if if the uh, if the device is the is the same uh, sort of suppose you have Palo Alto device used in PA two hundred and suppose you are going to implement some PA eight twenty device, okay, same company's device. So you need to check it out first of all. The same firmware is required, okay. So whatever the firmware you want to use it in your old device, the same firmware required in the new device same time, okay. Then 
if it is available then you have to restore the uh, the firmware's things or you can also install it from the internet connectivity to your firewall then you can install the same firmware then you can store the settings same time okay and then you need to change the ip addresses of your uh, uh, different different lens zone vans or and the vpn sort of things so you can you have different different options available available later on so you can modify the things as per the company requirement is all about make sense okay guys so uh, this is the the firewall sort of thing so we will go going to the practical things so that easy to understand uh, all sort of things because once you're going to practical things so that easy to understand it will also lot of things okay so we have some seven question number seven so what is the difference between va vulnerability assessment and penetration testing yes let me know what is the requirement yes we understand the definitions is all about but what is the use case how can i use it anybody will tell me the answers for the same so in vulnerability assessment so we look for the targets uh, details uh, like the website information the network information like information gathering scanning and enumeration and know the vulnerabilities of that particular network or website So, uh, vulnerability assessment. Where we need to do it? How to do it? Need to do. What is the advantage of this? We can do on Kali Linux. Sir. What about the cloud part? Cloud part. No, I don't have idea. Okay. So, uh, my. Uh, 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 my questions my uh, you want answers for the same is first of all uh, guys need to understand what are the open source vapt tools available in the market just try to find it and let me know in the second class or third class must be going for the same things so we have some open source tools available in the market we have some paid tools also available in the market okay so try to find out each and every tools whatever you think okay so vulnerability assessment why it is a requirement because we have you know what weaknesses what type of weaknesses in the network flow of informations have you ever find it what are the weaknesses do you think that uh, this is the weaknesses we need to find out no! hello hello Sir, oh, open ports are. Uh... Yes, open ports, open services. We can say that. So we we have different different tools and techniques available to find out the vulnerabilities. And map you can use it. You can use it. You know what? Uh, Wireshark for the same thing. Openways is, is another tool. Is, is, is tool is there. So I would like to you know what you just go for some findings and then if you find out anything and then I will let you know exactly the things need to be done. So penetration testing is all about. So penetration testing to finding the vulnerabilities on the target. In the case of organization would have to set up all the security measures by could think of of and would want to test if there is any other way to their systems network can be hacked. So, penetration uh, P, VAPD report. Why the auditors require VAPD report? Anybody? So, have you ever provided the VAPD report to anybody till now? No, sir. We didn't provide it. Okay, okay. I will. I will. Uh, um, once we're going into further classes, I will let you know how to VAPD reports gonna be generate. What is the importance of VAPD report? How do you find out the what different different things? right please mute your vo voices it is it disturbing classes okay so and uh, then uh, this is the vapt reports we are just going to uh, uh, creating in a different, different environment cloud have their own uh, vapt reports creation in the local environment have different vulnerability assessment reports created 
and um, uh, we, we we have some you know what finding out the weaknesses in into the particular information flows in the organizations and then we we do some remedy sort of things and in the informations weaknesses to convert to the strength okay uh, so the reports are basically says all sort of things that what we need to do it okay so uh, this is uh, today's uh, we have just studied about the seven questions answers so we have just find out some networking things we have find some firewall things we have find we're talking about some ids ips we're talking about some endpoint security solutions all is all, all about okay so uh, the, the classes is very very interesting and <coughs> <laughs> classes <laughs> okay okay yes sir hello so uh, we are so just Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. One question, sir. Yes, this is so, voices coming uh, from out. Hello, voices there. Hello, please mute your uh, audio, please. Yes, tell me. Hello. Hello. Yes, tell me uh, if any answer, any questions regarding the same, or we are just going to wrap up the class today. So, what is the exact schedule, sir? Will what about will you going to teach us? Will you prepare us exactly? What is the blueprint you are going to like set to like yeah. uh, from what to what? Yes, so we need to know the. So process. will you show practically all these ideas, IPS about the firewalls, endpoint security, and this hashing encryption? Yes, yes. Why not? But before we going to the practical, we need to understand the concept, the logic, why is requirement. How to implement? Yes, what are the consequences of all sort of things? So uh, once we go in the further classes, we will uh, go for some practical yes. aspect as well, because it is mandatory uh, requirement of any cybersecurity expert to understand the concept, the logic, and then uh, how the skills coming. This we can go for some practical aspect and then just find out each and everything. Okay. So, uh, so you'll, you'll be basically you'll be basically preparing us for the interviews and also taking the practical aspect, right? Yes, so yes, I'm because I, I I just find out there are so many weaknesses, so many things need to be understand because in in the interviews we're going there and they will ask you any sort of questions and then then I have not worked in now so that the things are against you same okay. time. So very important for you to you know what understand that the concept, I, the okay. logic, every aspect of technology. Every, every aspect of security, then we, you are prepared for the, you know, WhatsApp security person, right? So I will just gonna share you the blueprint and uh, the class schedules uh, uh, tomorrow uh, once I coming, and then I will let you know how is going on further things. So in meanwhile, what you can do as per your assignment, what I'm going to provide you, we have studied the seven uh, questions uh, uh, today, and uh, so sub going to prepare the some story sort of things, going to prepare some networking aspect. And going to prepare some, you know, what cloud sort of things, and what is the requirement of CIA and different examples. Okay, so I will ask you any questions regarding regarding all sort of seven questions. You just read it, and then you can just provide me the answers. Same sort of things. So whatever you're talking about today, suppose I'm going to ask you that, what are the next generation firewalls features? So just give me the answer same time. Suppose I'm just going to uh, talk to you that what is the two-factor authentication, three-factor authentication? How do we implement? What are the features? What are the benefits all about? You just provide me the answers. Okay. Once you once you go through all sort of things, and then we will just go some practical things, and then you just understand. Yeah, this was we have studied. This is gonna implementation things happen, right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for. Thank yes. You, fine. One question: Are we going to uh, are we going to learn about you know practical example of firewall? Are we going to install any firewall or something? We have we have some online firewalls available. Don't worry. This is uh, this is my uh, um, you know what thing. So I will provide you each and everything which I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, the matter of fact that we we have some online things available, but you don't know how to doing the things. This is the approach you need to understand because everything is available in, in the market here. So you need to understand the right approach. The right experienced person will let you know which things need to be do it, which things you not know to do it because. If you have multiple two thousand things available, you need to do which is the priority prioritize things first, and then left out all sort of things, right? So we have 
this uh, i will let you know all things which are features of firewall things get level security and point security sort of things so uh, we'll study in next few classes okay okay so this will be very interesting in the few, in the next few classes so uh, be available so that you can understand all, all the all sort of features all sort of things so that really important for you to make your career in the cyber security because in the cyber security what is requirement your understanding your analytical skills uh, okay to understand of the common sense how do you use it same same time okay so uh, the things are available in front of you but you don't you don't know how to work on the same time so that is the things why i would change your approach to how to work if you have different different things are not available in front of you okay so thank you thank you everyone for your time and, and one one more thing mahesh actually so uh, what yes. will be the time frame of like uh, about us preparing for the interviews and the practical scenarios how much time would you be taking uh, the time is taking is depend on you guys because you know what how you comfortable how do you understand all sort of things if you uh, keep learning things and if you understand the cloud part network part security part application part wireless part so it it's very it's very easy for me to you know what provide you 5 to 10 classes but if i don't think so that it is required because i i require some more classes to you because if you know, don't know the gateway level security each and everything though so you know what uh, i think i we have to go for some more classes uh, taking sort of things because whatever we learn we need to understand on the depth so that uh, once you going in the in in any and uh, environment right so that you you have good exposure and you have good confidence level so that you can troubleshoot the things more effectively right okay okay thank you everyone for your nice time and uh, uh, we will just uh, uh, i'm going to wrap up the class and we will talking uh, i will let you know schedules tomorrow okay and uh, let me know what we can do so class will be in the same time so tomorrow also yeah most probably the same time if any changes then i will going to provide you informations like that Okay. Thank you. Sir. Okay, sir. Fine. Thank you. <laughs>